guys, I'm Jeff, this is Wayne, and you're watching Jeff's Custom RC, and today we have a awesome L19 bird dog from Legend Hobby, and we're going to be unboxing it and uh, giving you all the stats on it, as well as the construction, what it should be run with. What's included, all yeah. the hardware, the size, the dimensions, different types of motors you can put. It comes with all kinds of high quality hardware that's already prefabricated. You don't have to pre, you know how you got to fab stuff? On some time, not this one. You just that's right. Really Put it together. So, High quality. Yeah. So stick around. We're going to get right with you and show you what's in the box. Be right back. Well, guys, as you can see, we've got it all laid out on the table for you, out of the box. It's a beauty. Think? What do you think, man? There's a lot of stuff in here, and it's all high quality. It is. I don't see anything that's cheap or no. a compromise. No. Nothing. It's just amazing the detail of everything you get. I mean, we're going to go and we're going to take every individual piece and we're going to show you up close what it is and how it is. Yeah. And you're going to love it because this is incredible. I mean, this is awesome. I like it. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard for you guys to understand the quality coming out of a box that this airplane is down to the finish on the airplane. And yes, you see it all laid out on the table. But we'll, until you see it. Yeah. It's true. Up close and personal, firsthand, and. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we've got the fuselage sitting up here for you. And mm. uh, check it out, Wayne. What do you think, man? I mean, it's beautiful. It's like a work of art. It's pretty awesome the way this thing breaks down and comes apart. I mean, you know. Yeah, with magnets. Yeah, super, got super you. strong magnets. Yeah, you got really nice. Guys, you could take this apart if you really wanted to detail this with really nice looking 3D printed, nice. uh, you know, gauges and things like that. Possibilities are limitless with this thing on the yeah, inside because you can because you can get up. to it. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's already nice, but if you really wanted to go in there and put 3D printed uh, gauges and yes. knobs and bezels and things like that, you could. You could, and it's easy, and that's what's so nice about this. It just comes apart, and uh, like I said, super uh, big rare earth magnets in, magnets in here, especially on the doors as well as yeah, they're strong too. Yeah, very strong. And as you can see, we've also got the whole side of the airplane open, so you've got a lot of easy access there as well. Um, all of your holes inside here are pre-done for your servos yeah, and things nice. like that, your push rods. Um, and you can see how easy, I mean, Wayne's putting this, this goes in right, right in, now. baby. Yeah, screws right in. And that way, everything's ready to go. Now, that's a, that's a big towel, man. It's Beautiful. like a lampshade. Lampshade? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go, man. That's it's it. an improvement. Hey, you could be an airplane for uh, Halloween with that shirt on. And, uh, you know, walk no, around, I'll just go some, buy my some candy. Wings on, you, know? you could identify as an airplane. I identify as a lot of things. <laughs> I'm fluid gender. <laughs> airplane fluid. Airplane gender. Yeah, yes. Man, paint job on this thing is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Fiberglass work is incredible. I'm telling you. We can't see any seams. We can't see any. You can't see the lines, can you, Russ? No, you can't see nothing. Nice flat. <laughs> Very nice. Russ can't see nothing. And again, guys, with the doors on here, you have a two-piece door. Yep. You'll have hinges up here as well. And you could really go in here because this plane comes with seats, guys, that have actual uh, material on them. So you could go in here and really dress up the inside of this plane if you want to get super scale. And as always, Legend Hobby has your uh, scale pilots too, guys. So don't forget that. And you can get your pilot. Yeah, we're going to need to get one of those. Yeah, exactly. Well, you put two in here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's, it's this way. And you said this plane was Vietnam. Yeah. Over almost 3,500 of them were made. Had the highest rate of uh, pilot damage. I mean, up to 50% wouldn't return. They said most of the accidents, though, weren't anything to do with the plane. It was if the pilot got bored. You know how if you get bored doing something mm -hmm. and you go outside the rules and regulations, don't bank too much, don't yeah. do this, don't yeah. do that, or they were showing off and they hit a truck, anything. But they said... Highest, I think, damage rate of uh, the pilots, almost 50%, didn't make it back. That wow. is a lot. That is a lot. But they never had any protection. They never had any training. They had an M16. They hung out the window. They were the first ones, what they call them, forward air, con forward air control. Oh, okay. And they're the ones that tell everybody where to bomb. And they would be able, they're the ones that tell them when to bomb and where to bomb. And if they were right in the middle of it and they saw something that wasn't right, they would tell them, do not bomb. 
So in other words, their lives, everybody's lives on the ground depended oh. on what this guy said. Interesting. That's pretty cool, man. Forward air control, and I think they went to a different one, reconnaissance air control. I forgot. Okay. Well, very and nice. A lot of it. nations ran it. They yeah. had uh, nations all over the world that ran it. Wow. Well, again, I mean, you know, being the type of plane it is, it's going to fly well. Um, That's great. Being a high wing, wing loadings, everything good, you know. So also, guys, in here as well, you've got, again, your servo areas already. Your screw holes are pre-drilled. Mm -hmm. Your servos will fit right down in there. Also, looking on the bottom of this airplane, guys, you've got a hatch here that will screw nice. out. And you can also access your servos, servos for your elevators. Isn't that the elevators? That is nice, yeah. Yeah, because you've got twin ele elevators on this airplane. Yeah, guys. nice. And um, yeah, look, I mean, look how easy this is. Look at the access. Got a nice little screw in there. Yep. And again, you can see your two places for your servos here. Two elevator servos. Easy to put yep. your push rods in. Yep. Horns, and again, whatever. You know, you've got nylon uh, screws here for this to go back in, as well as your nylon screw for your gear. Once that's on, this will screw in and hold your gear, and that's really nice as well. That's exactly right. Very, very well constructed from Seagull. It is. Model. And yeah. uh, show them the front end. Everything's pre drilled. I got it. Everything's pre drilled and has a. Uh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Has a blind nut back here for all. You don't have to do nothing. You know how you get in a, a project and you have to do all the drilling? I hate yeah. drilling and I hate Put, hinging. putting them in. Too. Everything's here. Boom, boom, boom. You got all the hardware, which you're going to show you later. Just boom, 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 in. Do a little fuel line adjustments, bolt them up, shh, lock tight. Don't forget the lock tight. I use the red instead of the blue. Yeah. It's still, it doesn't permanent. Right. Kind of like, is marriage uh, guidelines or is it in sand or is it in stone? <laughs> it feels like Okay, stone. well, anyway, we'll skip that part. But yeah, everything is so well done. And there's also a knockout in the front for this too, isn't it? Isn't yep. that already yep. pre-cut yep. if you chose yep. to open yep. that up? Pop, 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 probably fuel lines. Well, guys, fuel you, lines can do, you can do gas or electric with this. Yeah, um, that's right. Know. That's a nice conversion. We're going to show that because that comes with it too. Exactly. So you have your options with this airplane, guys. Very nice. Yeah. Let me put that bottom piece back on. All right. My ADHD is kicking in. Hyperdrive. There we go. I'll put the cowl on and we'll just show it with the cowl and so they can see that. All right. Very nice. Yeah, right. so there's a fuselage. Yep. And That's it's nice. It. I mean, it's a work of art. It's all painted, interior painted all the way down. It's all, yeah. It's incredible. So if you really wanted to dress this up on the inside, guys, this is an airplane to do it. Make it super scale. Put your pilots in. You got the seats, like I said, with the upholstery already on them. You could really go in here and get crazy with the inside of this airplane and just make it look super awesome. So, um, yeah, so there it is. There's your fuselage. So, as we said, we're going to get each piece. So, stay, stick around, and we're going to break out the wing. <laughs> Wings, as we promised, and uh, it's these beautiful. are massive, man. You could put these on your hands. It's like another work of art. It is. Down to the servos, uh, actually, down to the hinges and the clevises for the flaps. flaps. Um, you've also got your doors for your servo covers. Mm -hmm. Aileron. Um, and your ailerons, let's, let's show these. Uh, they're, the hinges are there, but they're, I don't think they're glued in yet. No, I mean, so that's why, that. that's why they're taped. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you want to show a close-up of those or love to see those? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Also, this wing, guys, has... A place for landing lights. In yes, well. it does. And with this plane comes a great light kit, guys. It's a nice hinge line. Tight. Tight, yes. tight. Very nice. And give them a good look at those uh, horns and clevises for those flaps as well. Those are really nice. I hope you guys can see the finish on this airplane. It's just absolutely Yeah, it's a beautiful. nice flat. It's nice. Really nice. Very stout, as they say. Yep. Everything's pre-drilled with your blind nuts. Mm-hmm. Just boom. It just goes together. Yep. In any kind of weather. And, of course, you know, these are your wings, and then you have your wing tips that go on as well on each tip that really make this plane stand out where you can see the orange on each end. And, again, 
uh, great light set, guys, that comes with this airplane. Light set? Yeah, look at this. Look at the Three landing of lights. Look at the size of these lights. I know. This is pretty cool. Yeah. So you got your three landing lights. That's really nice. Boom, boom, boom. And then you got your uh, port and starboard lights, mm -hmm. I would guess. But uh, yeah, it all comes with a kit. I think it's 7.4, two also cell. It comes with your controller. Yeah, it comes with a controller. Comes with everything there. Comes with everything you need. Yeah. And then for the wing that has the light in it, you also yeah, get Yeah, we got a lens cover. Lens cover that goes on there, looks really nice. Nice. Yep. So that's really cool. And then, uh, of course, very robust aluminum uh, wing spar as well. Very robust. Yep. All aluminum. And as well as the wing spars themselves uh, for the supports. Yeah, these are, uh, those are really nice. Those are dynamically really built. Mm -hmm. You can't see it in the plastic, but you can see the shape. of the, It does have an airfoil. It's not just flat. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Painted black. Very nice. Very and nice. Everything about it is really nice. And we're not just saying it's got, I mean, I, you know, this is a very well built, but it's a Seagull model. I mean, come on. You know, if any of you guys have had Seagull models, you know all about them. Um, again, if you look at the end of this wing, where it's going to join into the fuselage, yep. nice you can stable. see how nice that looks there. Down into your wing. Dude, everything's all the way clean. Through. I mean, this is clean. Everything's it, it, pre built, pre done, nice. pre in, all of it. We are just the assemblers. That's it. We really don't build anything. Even these horns right here have yeah. got lock nuts on them. That's, That's really nice, nice with hex head screws. Nylon locks. Mm -hmm. Not to worry about them falling off. Because yeah. I have seen them fall off in flight. <laughs> yeah. And again, I'd yeah. rather have a hex head screw than a Phillips any day. That's right. So, you know. So, yeah. And then you've got also, this is obviously for your, your struts. Your struts. And that's going to come in. It's also already threaded with a nice threaded yep. um, inset. Blind nut. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's all done for you. It's good. Beautiful. So, Fantastic. Yep. Wonderful. When do we start? I'm ready. All right. What do we got? All right. So here we've got your elevator and your rudder, as some would call your horizontal and your Stead, vertical horizontal stab. Horizontal stab and vertical stab. Yeah. And again, as you can see, your hinges are already in here. There's one down here at the bottom. See hinges. But they're Fabric. not, you know, they're, they're just kind of loosely sitting there. So you guys have got to get those glued in. Got to get them right. Them. And you got to, um, you got to be thin stuff too. So you got to be quick. Yeah. You want it to wick in really well. Yeah. And they work well. Yeah. Give yourself a little space there. But as you can see, the quality and construction. On Always this good. And how it's, made. It's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. I mean, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this antenna. That antenna, as you say, <laughs> it screws on to the top. That's yeah. all steel. Yeah, you know how heavy that is. I know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's got to be like a 256 metal that's rod. That's really nice, man. I mean, that's like Stop a whoop. Stop playing with that's my what antenna. They call, that's why they call it a whoop antenna That's my there. antenna right there. Put a little tennis ball on top of that. <laughs> nice. And what are, what are these little pixie sticks you got over here? These are to... Ribs, maybe? Are yeah, ribs? they're made to simulate the ribs. Oh. On your stabs, see that? Oh, cool, man. Yeah. And Again, more scale. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of it, too. Wow. So I don't know how it goes on quite yet because we haven't read the manual, but got a lot, be, plenty of them. CA, like just put you could CA probably uh, pack weld it up there. Well, you could do a lot with these things. <laughs> Clean your ears out. Yeah, you can do a lot. Hey, I'm going to poke my eye out with it. You know, are these wood or wood? They're plastic. No, they're plastic. Think? I think okay. they're, no, no, no. Hey, they're plastic. Feels plastic. I don't know. But yeah, they do the strips right here. I looked at the book and you just put them on there and you strip it and make it look cool. It's really nice. Super Very nice. nice. Everything Very nice. nice. Just more scale detail, guys, for you to sit here and make this airplane as scale as you want. That's right. Hey, all depends yeah. on how much time you have left. That's right. Yeah. And you got all your holes for your control horns. Mm -hmm. Got the epoxy mall in there. It should be one over here. Yep. There they are right there. Yep. This is, this is so smooth. I mean, that's just it incredible. Is, the finish on it's killer. You, there's no panel lines. No, you can't see any glue lines. You can't see anything. Nothing. It's amazing. I mean, it almost looks composite. It's, it, yeah. Man, if I had to compare that in the day, back in the day when I learned how to build, yeah, I'd never be that? able to finish that. Very nice. I All shaped right. it like this and glued it. All right, let's Warping. move along. Hey, it's not good for you. You're done? <laughs> yeah, those sweethearts, they catch up on. So, these are the rockets they used back in the day. 
they all, I know that they had different colored rockets, and then each one meant something specific. I don't know the whole details in it. But I do know that uh, these uh, are the what the FAC guy did, the FACs. They would go in, and when they would see a target, and they would send it a certain place where the, uh, the bad guys are, and then he would tell the, the guys that are coming in with the bombs and the missiles where that is, do it a little high, do it a little low. I mean, these FAC guys, which is a forward air control that flew the bird dog, they would take... And they really controlled the airspace. They told the F-4s or whatever's coming in to drop whatever they want, where to put it, when to put it, and stop in the middle. Because if mm. something happened and the troops were started fighting and then the troops were getting close to good guys, yeah. he would have to tell them, no, 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 don't you drop. And if they didn't listen to what this dude said, this dude ran the war right there. If it wasn't for these guys and these airplanes, they wouldn't have got anything done. I mean, they were so far behind. And these guys weren't really training anything. They just said, go out there, find the enemy. This is what they said, go out there and find the enemy. Here's a flak jacket, but they didn't wear the flak jacket. They put the flak jacket on the seat so they didn't get shot, you know, in the butt as they fly out. Yeah. There's no armor, no nothing, and they went out there and shot their M16 out the. One guy gave his life for the whole uh, platoon. Um, he was out there. They're waiting for the guys to come in with the missiles and the bombs and everything. Had to smoke, and they all of a sudden got attacked. And he hung around, was flying circles with his M16, sticking out the window. He got wounded and didn't make it back. Gave his life for his, whoever he was covering. That's war. I mean, it's not fun, but hey, that's when we had men in our country. Yeah. Well, and if you look at the box right here, we'll show you the picture, and you can see what they look like on the airplane. Yeah. And these all come with it. Uh, you can put them on or not. Yeah. Of course really I'm going to put them on. The You're putting on. them on. Or somebody put them on. I'm going to put them on. I'll they put them on be. my Buick. And these, the uh, these right here just obviously <laughs> go into the ends and glue in. Um, like yes. so. Yeah, That's so cool. Hocus pocus. You dis hocus pocus. <laughs> almost Halloween <laughs> time. So yeah, so that's, that's how cool. easy it is. Guys. And they look cool on the airplane too. They do. They're really going to look nice. It's all so, these little, uh, I mean, they put a lot of thought in this. If you think it's easy detail? just making these little stations, it's not. I mean, look, the whole station is Balls. shaped just like the bottom of the airfoil and it mounts up and then the rack goes on. It's it's incredible. And it's all wood. It's all all detail. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. That's what I was saying. You can make this plane as scale and as detail if you want to show it, if you want to compete with the, you know. Make it a hanger queen. I ain't exactly. going to make no hanger queen. Right. So. Uh, well. You got to power it with something. Here we are. That's good stuff. We talked about the electric conversion for this airplane. That's correct. And we showed a tank for this That's gas. Correct. Yeah. So, what do we have to go with that gas tank? We have what Thomas sent us, and what Thomas sent us. Now we have the. Uh, you have the option of what up to forty cc. Yes. And then down to a thirty cc or a thirty-five, thirty-five to forty cc, and he sent us a twenty-six cc. And why? Because he wants us to fly at scale. Very scale. See, this is a L nineteen bird dog, right? You don't bring an L-19 bird dog in here and go, eh, 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 eh. That's not how you work. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Okay, we ain't going to have that kind of power. No. When you fly that thing, you fly the wing, on right. the wing. With, you need the efficiency. Yeah. I think you could fly up to 400-some miles. Maybe, like, maybe it's 500 miles. I don't remember what I read. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to fly at super scale. we got a 26cc. Shall we uh, bring it out? Sure. And what prop are we thinking to go with this? Well, I think it calls for a, oh, the electric one. See what the electric one was called. I don't know exactly what this one's called. But what we're going to do is I think we're going to lower the pitch and go up in the diameter mm -hmm. so we get some more thrust. Because this airplane, all it needs is thrust. It doesn't need speed. You're right. only going to be able to go so fast. With it. On top of that, you don't want to fly it fast. You want to no. fly scale. Scale. Very scale. You don't scale. want to be doing Mach 3 with a L19. No. I don't think anybody, you know, it is what it is. But it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 26cc. Mm -hmm. So I think that, well, 16.4cc is a... One cubic inch, so 1.75 cubic inch, somewhere around there. I don't know. It's, it's in there. Let's yeah. give them up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to lie to you. It's right there. As soon as the camera grabs There it is. Look at that. Very nice. That's nice, Clark. It is nice. It's sitting right here. Get your nice Walbro carburetor. You get Look at the simplicity. A lot of people get scared of gas. I'm telling you, there's only a couple things you need to know, and you will be fine. And you can fly... You could probably fly 45 minutes on this thing if you just yeah. use throttle management. Yeah, especially with it being such a large wing. Well, yeah, you can just fly the wing, man. Fly the wing. Come on, get in there. There it is. It's got great castings. Yep. Everything's well built. And not only is it well built, it does come with a warranty card. Right here. 
and it does come with an instruction card, and it does come with a parts card. Tells you how to operate it, Important tells you what to do, what not to do, and usually if you follow the instructions, you'll be successful. Yep, comes with your muffler, comes with your muffler. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rear exhaust, right? Yes. Actually, that would be inverted, so that would be that way. So it's mm -hmm. a... And ignition, I believe, is a, yeah, it's a 6 to 14.4 volt, so that would be a 3 cell. Mm -hmm. You could use a 2 cell or a 3 cell LiPo, or you could use anything you want in between. Mm -hmm. But don't uh, don't go over the 6 volt to 14.4. You think, ah. Oh, Another volt will be okay. Well, the electronics can only hold so much. Right. And if you've ever been on the end of a spark plug that would like to spark and use you as a ground, you ever been there? Mm -hmm. Well, usually it's like around 25,000 volts, but there's no amps. But still. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, light you, up you don't want to put your tongue on there. We use Mikey for that. The guy <laughs> that used to eat the cereal that nobody liked. Yes. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Mm -hmm. Service manual, engine star, stinger, operation manual. You know, guys never read no. instructions because mm -hmm. we just look at the picture. Oh, carburetor. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, look at that. See? Registration card. <coughs> Actually, this is a parts card. This is kind of nice. I don't even know if these came with this. But look, you got an actual parts card, and it shows you everything on that engine. If you that's have nice. a problem, you will know what you need. That's nice to have. I know it is, because I've had to find parts, back and I don't know where. Back, there. Back. Anyway, we need a new camera. This Toys R Us camera ain't working. All right. So, we got everything there. Now let's go on to the servos, which are high-tech servos. Very nice servos. That is correct. We have high-tech D645 MW wide voltage super torque. And how many servos do we need for this plane? Well, I think it calls for seven. Okay. I believe it's seven. Uh, where in the box? It's out there. We have eight of them on hand. We always like extra. But look at this beauty. Isn't that not beautiful right there? Look at that. Nice. Who doesn't like high-tech servos? See. Yeah, come on, camera. This is six channels with seven servos. That's right, seven channel, seven servos. Six channels, seven servos. I don't know. And, look at the back. Look at anybody, the specs. Look for at anybody the spec. interested in doing an electric conversion on this airplane, um, you basically can go with a 70 to 100 amp ESC and a 2700 watt. 2700 motor. watts. Well, 746 watts is one horsepower. So divide that into what you had. It's probably like what mm -hmm. three. Two point something. Mm -hmm. And Plenty. they're calling for your prop sizes anywhere from an 18.8 to a 20.10. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now I remember reading that. And uh, you know, electric is the way to go. If you don't want to hassle anything, no, you got noise restrictions. Yep. Electric's the way to go. That's and right. on top of that, if you don't want to hassle anything, electric's the way to go. You charge, but then go. That's the only good. thing you're going to be missing, the only thing I miss when I'm flying something electric, because there's always good. an equal and opposite reaction when you do something, right? Right. You don't have any of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then some people don't like that. I like that. Yeah. No, but not all this. <laughs> what kind of flyers is this again? Not yeah, us. I don't know how to do it. Either. I'm not that talented. I'm not either. I like to fly scale. Yeah, me too. That's Come in, like scale landing, flaps yeah. and everything. Nice flare. Exactly. I mean, to take it home all in one piece, that's a good day. Yeah. So. And, uh, you know, with and two guys. In case you haven't thought about it, do not forget. Let's show them some nice merchandise at Legend Hobby. Oh yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, guys, yeah. you can go to Legend Hobby and get you some really cool stuff from shirts to hats to keychains to razor knives to socks. And hey, we're getting into sock season, guys. It's getting cold. Look at the super nice hats. Everything's embroidered. These socks. I'm telling you guys, I wore these socks this past weekend because it was cool. Look there. He needs to wash them. <laughs> um, you can get them in green, or you can get them in brown, or you can get them green and make them brown, whichever. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, check out the merchandise. They've got some really cool stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Everybody and, loves these shirts. Everybody we does. gave a bunch away at the... Yeah, we did. Well, who was complaining that we were giving too much stuff away? Some couple old grumpy guys? You can't please everybody. Okay. That's right. You can't please everybody. I, we yeah, did 99.9%. We tried. Yeah. It was a little long on the giveaways, but hey, if you didn't give away, people will be upset about then that. Then they say, well, got nothing to give away. If you don't win and you want to you go get your own merchandise, guys, you can. But now we'll tell you this. Typically, if you order an airplane from uh, Legend Hobby, you, you might, might you might get something. Yeah, in there? you might get a little sweet, good oh, stuff my. in there in that box. I don't so, know how it can get any better. I'm telling you. I mean, literally, that. I look at everything that went through, and it's just. 
The build looks so easy. Everything's pre-done. It's just so nice when it's already pre-engineered. Well, we're getting ready to find out. Oh. We're so with that, out. guys, don't forget, be waiting because we will be showing more videos. And yeah, this is build, just a breakdown. A build video. We want to do a great unboxing for you guys and let you see this airplane. Hopefully get you to go over there and get you one. And then you can follow along in our series for the build video, the engine uh, install, the breaking in of the engine. We've got several videos we're going to be doing on this airplane. Prop balancing. Yes. I know a lot of guys that do 3D that don't even go, no, why do I got to balance the prop? Yeah, exactly. It shouldn't well, come that way. Come now, some places, that. I guess some places do balance their props, but it seems like everything I've ever got. I maybe think I just bought I think a, we need to put a nice wooden prop on this thing. Oh, yeah. You? yeah. It's got, it's got a weird hub on it. I looked at the hub. I don't know. It's got like an open ring on the original, whatever the mm -hmm. Continental engine they had on it. I don't know. Yeah. But Works for me. Definitely come back. Follow along with the build video, guys, because we're going to be doing several of those, and then we're going to have a flight video, and we'll hope you enjoy it. Are we going to raffle this away? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't think No, because so. I can tell you one thing. Nothing better than an easy-flying airplane. That's right. Because you know how you got a high-performance something, something. You know how you really got to concentrate because yeah, it's super yeah. fast. And then you got a really flare, and you got a high wing loading. Yeah. Everything's all, mm. and Then sometimes you just want to relax. <laughs> Well, not only that, but you can take this airplane to a super scale plane, guys. Yeah, you can look good have on the ground. everything sitting on the ground. You can show <coughs> this plane for a static line if you want to. And don't forget, to. there's three different sizes. Oh, well, exactly. This plane. Well, this is the smallest size. Yeah, yeah. This comes up to a 13 foot wing. That's what 156 or 152, 153 yeah. inch. Big. That's a lot. Big. <laughs> You're and gonna need you a trailer can, and all and that. And you can get the biggest one in four schemes. Now, this one only comes in one scheme. Yeah, which is, is fine. That's, not, that's exactly what it was. Why would you want to change it? Right. It's beautiful. Um, and so, guys, if, if you haven't gone to Legend Hobby's website, please do and check them out because they've got some of the most beautiful planes and they've got some great stuff coming. I know. We were looking at the catalog that fell out of the... I know, right? Going, ooh, oh, ooh, so, ooh, so ooh, many really things get one said of Christmas ah, is coming. Ah, so, uh, oh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, All right. Uh, so, fantastic. Yes. Everything in this thing is fantastic. I have not seen anything in here that's junk. No, and we'll let you know along the way when we're building this. If we see any issues, we'll make you aware. The only to issue it. about this is going to be you or me. That's right. Yeah. That's oh, right. my hand's stuck. Hey, can you get that? <laughs> you know how you're trying to hold the wing together? You're gluing it or whatever yeah, you're doing. Yeah, you're holding yeah. something, something. Because <coughs> I was doing that with the F-14. <laughs> I was gluing something. Hot glue is hot. It is. Hot. I just don't have the Walmart special. I have a 400 watt commercial glue gun, yeah. and I glued this piece. And I, you know how you, I always Very put hot. too much in a hole yeah. just to make sure that it gets yeah. a, well, I'm sitting there, I, I ooze it in a hole and I'm holding it from the bottom and it oozed out and it fell on my hand. And if I would have moved my hand, I would have, I would have ruined what I was trying to connect, right? So you can't move. I literally had two to three, third degree burns. <laughs> I could feel it melting through the epidermis layers. Sure. Yeah. There's number one. I couldn't move my hand because right. I didn't want a part to get ruined, right? I can right. get skin, skin comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I could feel it. Oh, there's number one. Oh, there's number two, three. Yeah. Oh man, was it? I had peeled it off and it literally took the skin off. Yeah. It went down a couple of layers. Yes. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. All right, guys, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Changing it up. <clears throat> I thought he was kidding. He's not. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Bubba? <laughs> oh, outtakes. Blooper's real. Every okay, so uh, so you have a extensive hardware kit, right? <laughs> what is my thong on the Oh shit! I'm getting the giggles now. Okay, hold on. Let me get it together. <laughs> it's like it's like Don Knotts in the Cannonball oh, Run. You remember what I mean? I mean Tibble's his name. Yeah. He couldn't get it together with Burt Reynolds. Okay, you had to smack him a couple times to get it through. Okay, all right, shh, all right, here we go. All right, so, all right, so here we are with the hardware kit Very and the uh, there, and the motor uh, accessories, the fuel tank. So, uh, give us a little bit about what we got here. Well, this is a, I don't know how many cc it is, but it's a nice, high quality anodized aluminum fuel tank. Yeah, brass fittings. Looks like Tigon, some kind of Tigon, plus your O-ring. So you do have this quality tank that comes with your kit. You don't have to go buy another right. tank because you know how it gets kind of exactly. cheap and they use recycled plastic and they yep. got the seam and they will bust. Yeah. But look at the, I don't know, you can't see it. We'll have to zoom it in or something. 
it's just extensive. You got all these screws, all those bolts, all those nuts, all those blind nuts, all the standoffs, all look at those threaded things. I know. All these control horns, all fiberglass, painted, painted, no less. Horns. All the brass screws for all the hinges all the and hinges. all the doors. And we'll show a picture right over here. Yeah, we'll show too. you all kinds of stuff. But this is a conversion for the electric. If you want yep. to do, I think it's eight to ten cell. Yeah, and this this will also slide in here, so you can see if you yes. need to so wherever move you weight are, forward. How big? Yeah, it's it's got room here, guys, that's for cool. you to move Look things around. Give so you more really things cool. to play with. Yeah, that's really neat. I think. Really thought this forward. I'm telling you, man. Quite well. and, and it's just, and it's all made with nice balsa wood. Yeah, it's duty. not, uh, it's, it's not, not thin the, mess. No, it's yeah. not the crappy stuff. It's so already got the holes for your blind nuts and a pretty thick firewall there, actually. That's nice because you can move it in and out. So obviously, this yeah. would be the front, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or this the front. Whatever. You Very figured nice. out. If you're going to run electric, it's in the vault. There it is. But you can't do it if you don't have the hardware. Yeah, and you got your nylon wing screws here. <laughs> They give you an extra nylon screw for your windshield mm -hmm. area, an extra nice hinge, yeah, nice hinge, an extra hinge, and all of these are hex head guys, so That's you don't nice. have to worry about fumbling with yes, screwdrivers. Yeah, they got the nice round head to flush yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Even your big screws for your motor standoffs are hex head. They get well. it all. Yep. They get it all. It all comes so. with, actually, that was two bags, I think, and uh, I don't know what to say. All let's right. rock and roll. Let's build it. Can't get any better than this. Let's do you it. You can't get any better than this. So everything's there, everything you need. So you don't have to go to the store. That's right. You know what? While you're, you might as well talk about this. We didn't talk about it. We got to talk about it. No. Pre-bent. Pre-bent. And pre-all done well, push rods. You want to take these out? Yeah. Yeah. Put the end off the bag. Careful, careful. careful. Uh, that's sharp. That's what I'm saying. That's the legend hobby knife there. Right? That's, That's a nice sharp. one, Clark. All right, so look at that. All pre-bent, pre-made. Already got your clevises on there. Plus, it's got the rubber. It's got the, the keepers. Slide down there. over once you get them onto your control horn. Look at that. A little close up. You don't have there. to bend anything. The only thing I think they have left open would be the uh, throttle, and the throttle is set up on that slider right there. You yes. slide it in. You put that on your control horn. You slide it into whatever your length is, and boom. I mean, but I mean, all of these are already they're already assembled. done. Pre-done. I mean, no guessing. And got your keepers on here, guys. They got this everything really on cool. there. Got everything on there, Clark. Look at that. It's really nice. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that nice? It is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It is. Faster to get you to the field. And on top of that, they're all they're all quality. They're all metal. No plastic. Mm -mm. That's nice. Very nice. So you got your electric conversion if you want to go that route. Yep. Now, this is your fuel tank, obviously, for your combustible engine on the internal which we're going to show you that and we're going to show you that next with the well then after that would be something else but yes so we got everything here hardware is extensive they seem to have thought of everything, everything. i mean you got your brass screws for your brass hinges not just but you got yep. good stuff yep all right so we're good we're good next <laughs> We gotta give them a close up of yeah, this. This show, is amazing. Show, this this is probably like the showcase this of the whole wheel. deal right yeah, here. Okay, you can't see this, but I'm gonna bring it to you. This tail wheel assembly is incredible, guys. Um, this thing is built like a truck. Totally, Look at this thing. Totally machined, all milled and machined from aluminum. I'm trying to get that thing to get it in focus. Come on now, yeah. get there, get it. There, there it is. is. There yeah. Go. Look at that. That is nice. Look at the machining on that, guys. That yeah, is. It's got your brass pushing in there. Yeah. Man, I wish it'd hold it. I don't that know is, if it's me or the camera. The camera sucks. You gotta incredible. take this Toys R Us camera back. <laughs> hey man. Don't be knocking the camera. I don't know if it uh, if I get close enough, then it there it goes. You know what I'm saying? In and out, it won't. There it is. Yeah. It's just like like it has a, a little point. Anyway. That is super nice. It you, is you beefy, just, dude. It's built like a truck. You break this. Yeah. You ain't gonna break that. Ain't yeah. no way. And then it of course, is massive. Show them, show them the wheel that goes with it. The wheel. That's a rubber. Yeah, this is a rubber it's wheel. Not, it ain't not, foam. Everything's yeah, a rubber. That is rubber. Get right in there, man. It's just a beautiful yeah. piece of. You. They don't skimp. No. Thomas does not skimp on the hardware anywhere. No. I mean, you ain't gonna find this kind of stuff for the amount of money he's asking for for a complete kit. It's impressive. No. I'm impressed. Very much so. 
comes with everything. Got your brass. All your hardware. Springs here. All your hardware. Totally, totally nice set of gear, guys. Yeah. You ain't gonna break this stuff. And uh, just very scale. So I don't yeah. even have that nice on a hundred cc. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's just incredible how nice this stuff is made. So man, this is rubber too. This ain't foam. This is right. Rubber. Those are four and a half inch tires too. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm telling you, the gear on this thing, it's gonna get you where you're uh, going. It's gonna get you off the ground and get you back safely. So. <laughs>